thousand years later. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know it's literally been like four months since you last saw me. I'm so sorry for going MIA, but yeah, I know a lot happened, a lot happened, which I won't go into, but I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'm back. Thank you so much if you coming back to watch another video and if you're new here my name is Oluwe Tsinkodela aka Shagalulu underscore and this channel is called the psychology of everything where we talk all things psychology and mental health and everything that has to do with those two things so please do hit that subscribe button and join our family and let's get into the video so for those who don't know psychology is basically the study of human behavior and the mind and in south africa there are six different categories of psychologists that are registered with the hpcsa so i mention this because all psychologists practicing practicing psychologists have to be registered with the HPCSA in order to practice and basically do their jobs. So the different categories are it's clinical psychology, counseling psychology, educational, industrial, research and neuropsychology as well. And I will be explaining to you guys what each of those mean. So this video is basically for anyone who's interested in psychology and wants to know the different types of categories of psychologists that we have here in SA. And it's also for if you want to get into psychology, if you want to study and one day become a psychologist, you could also kind of see uh, which one would best suit you once you get to master's level and you have to specialize in either one of these categories. And it's also for those who are considering going to see a psychologist uh, in a form of therapy and just to give you a guide on like which type of psychologist that you should actually see based on what you need. So yeah, stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, cool. So the first one, clinical psychologists. So basically what they do is they use um, theory, science and practice in order to understand, assess mental health issues. And they basically help with development problems, uh, psychological distress and what we call uh, psychopathology and they basically do this by assessing their clients diagnosing them and also um, providing counseling and therapy as you know it and basically um, if you are a student interested in being a psychologist one day if you are more interested in like clinically diagnosed mental health issues and that space of psychology then this is the right field to go into and if you're looking for a psychologist to go to for therapy, um, normally you would go to a clinical psychologist if you feel like um, you have a mental illness. So if you have symptoms of any mental illnesses, so obviously um, like a clinical psychologist can specialize in something, even though they are trained in and they basically know like all about like every mental illness but they can choose what to specialize in in their practice so you'll have like clinical psychologists that specialize in depression and anxiety and then clinical psychologists that specialize in schizophrenia and bipolar mood disorder so you just have to do your research if you are looking for a psychologist by the way um there's a website called therapy roots i have spoken about it in another video i will link it up here for you um so basically you can find the right psychologist for you um it's like a directory of mental health professionals and you literally just type what you need and you'll get options of different psychologists that are in your area or other areas that are not too far from you so please do check that out if you are looking for therapy and then the second one is counseling psychologists so their scope of practice is pretty much the same as um a clinical psychologist so basically what i mean like in what they are allowed or able to do for their clients but the difference is that um counseling psychologists they don't usually just deal with people who are suffering from mental clinic clinical mental illnesses but they also just deal with people who are struggling with life challenges or anything any changes in their lives like maybe a relationship problem or divorce or anything that just is a life challenge to someone and 
basically they 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 like promote psychological well-being and adjustment so they help people with that and normally um if you do want to see a psychologist um and you're just dealing with life challenges so you don't really have symptoms of any mental illnesses but you are struggling with something in your life um then a counseling psychologist is probably your best bet and yeah if you want to become a counseling psychologist um uh, i think it's normally if you're more interested in like dealing with those type of challenges instead of like clinical mental illnesses the third one is industrial psychologists so these ones are, are a different in like the scope of practice so basically you can find industrial psychologists in the workplace or corporates if i can say that so basically what they do is they use psychology everything that they've been taught and trained in and they basically um use that to understand to modify and to also enhance like individual like employees in the workplace or group of employees or the organization in itself so um they basically um use they, they study the human behavior of employees and they obviously you know have findings and results of the human behavior related to the the job and they offer solutions to the employers so they are very important in the workplace and you'd normally find them in hr the fourth one is educational psychologists so uh, they typically deal with um, learning, development, that kind of thing. And you'd normally find them in schools, um, any type of school, like primary, high school, and even university. But you don't only just find them there. Um, you can find them throughout your life. So you can, as an adult, go to see an educational psychologist. So they basically also are able to diagnose um, learning disorders more than like your depression, anxiety. So they m specialize more in learning disorders, hence why you find them in schools. So if you are um, looking to specialize in educational psychology, then yeah, um, it would be someone that's like interested in like working with kids because they do mostly work with kids. And yeah, if you are looking for psychologists, if you want to go to an educational psychologist, it would typically be you taking your child or if you feel like you have a learning disorder. The fifth one, the second last one is research psychologists. So their scope of practice or in what they do, it's quite different to the other psychologists. So basically they conduct psychological research and they don't normally provide psychological services to the public. So they basically conduct research by looking at patterns of human behavior and they take that human that those patterns and they come up with conclusions about a specific topic that they're researching if i'm not mistaken actually i think research psychologists have a huge role um when it comes to like the theory of psychology so basically like what you study in universities but please correct me if i'm wrong but i think it does make sense if they do play a role in you know what you find in your textbooks the last one is neuropsychologists um this one is actually quite new in south africa and basically what they do they 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 deal with like um the functionings of the nervous system so they basically um deal with clients who have been involved in like an accident that ha has caused like traumatic brain injury and they basically study the brain so yeah guys those are the six different categories of registered psychologists that we have here in south africa our land i do hope that i gave you more clarity on what each of these psychologists do and if you still need or you still have more questions please do drop a comment down below but yeah we've reached the end of our video so please do give it a big thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe because I'm back. I'm back for good. I'm back like I never left. <laughs> so please, please do stay tuned. I promise to be consistent. 
I, I promise to be consistent. I promise to drop a video every week. And I promise to never disappear on you guys like that again. So please do subscribe. Turn your notifications on. It's like a little bell button somewhere here. And comment down below on what kind of videos you want me to do. What topics you want me to cover. And I'll do that for you. But for now, I will see you in my next video.